What's the best video editing software on Mac right now? And which video editor is the best for your budget or for your level of experience? Here's our roundup from the current landscape and my recommendations on the best options for you. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. We release a ton of content to help you get better results with your videos faster. If you're new here, then make sure you click that big subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Now choosing the right video editing software can be incredibly confusing no matter what level you're at. The number of options only seem to be increasing, which is good for competition, prices, and driving new features, but not so great if you're trying to weigh up your options and figure out which one is the best one for you. We do a video like this every six to 12 months for both Mac and PC with an overview of the current landscape and our recommendations for the best editing software across multiple budgets from free software to $200 plus software. As always, there've been some big changes since our last video. Some of my prior recommendations still make the cut, whereas others have fallen behind and some newer options have stepped in to take their place. Now, just like last time, I'm gonna break this overview down into multiple pricing categories so that you can see what's available at each level and hear our recommendations. And if you're starting out with one of the lower price brackets, you can also see what you might be missing out on or something that you can upgrade to later on. And while you're watching, make sure you let us know what video editing software you're using right now and what your favorite feature is down in the comments. It's always interesting to hear the experiences that other people are having with their software and your suggestions may help others make the call onto which software is right for them. And once we wrap up looking at the editing software, I'll also share my top three tips for editing faster, no matter what software you're using. So now onto the software. Now we're breaking this down into three categories. The first category is free software. Second category is sub $200 or everything under $200. And the third category is $200 plus. So let's take a look. Okay, free software. Now the options here are really going ahead in leaps and bounds. And some of the free software available these days really beats out a lot of the paid options available not that long ago. So in this category of free, you've got software like iMovie, Shotcut, WeVideo, the free version, HitFilm Express, DaVinci Resolve, Lightworks, and Avid Media Composer first. Now after testing all of these, my top two picks and my top two recommendations are iMovie and DaVinci Resolve. Now iMovie these days is actually a really solid option for video editing. Now with full 4K support, it's got reasonable color correction and color control, the ability to easily add and move around all your elements in your timeline. It is a seamless interface that's really easy to use for anyone that's just starting out with video editing. So anyone that's beginner, right through to intermediate. DaVinci Resolve is an amazing video editing application. It's really crazy that they're giving this away for free. This is full on professional grade video editing software with everything, like the latest and greatest color correction controls, the amount of control that you have over your video editing. People use these tools to create actual films and documentaries. This isn't a toy video editing software. This is real professional grade software. So what you're getting here for free is really unbelievable. Now, if you're just starting out with video editing, then this could be a little bit overwhelming for you. And the amount of tools and control and everything in there could just be too much. So that's where something like iMovie could be a really solid option for you. But if you're looking for something really professional and something that you can use across the whole range of video editing projects from something small right up to a documentary or even a feature film, then I would definitely consider looking at DaVinci Resolve. So narrowing these two down, if I had to pick a winner, it's going to be DaVinci Resolve. I just can't believe the amount of control and power that you have in this for nothing, for free. So it's definitely worth checking out. Now, I need to mention here that with all of these video editing applications, they are all just tools to get the job done. So out of all the video editing applications that we mentioned in this video, what I would recommend is that you try as many as you can to find the best one that works for you, for your workflow, and for the types of videos that you're creating, because they are just tools to get the job done. So take that approach and try as many different ones as you can until you find one that works for you. So my pick for best video editing software for Mac in the free category is DaVinci Resolve. So now let's take a look at the video editing software in the sub $200 category. Now, the reason we picked $200 for this category is because there is a heap of video editing applications 
that are sort of mid-range applications at around the $150 to $200 price point. The moment you go over the $200 price point, there's a bit of a jump. There's really nothing between two and $300, and then it goes up from there. And that's where typically you're introduced to the more professional applications. So in this category, sub $200 category, what you would normally expect over the free software is complete end-to-end -end solution in most cases. So this is where you would expect that there's no features that are held back. So you're not having to pay extra for watermark removal. You're not having to pay extra for things like 4K or for a full range of export options. These are normally complete solutions for editing software. Now moving into this price bracket, the free options still apply. And one of them that stacks up is DaVinci Resolve. It's super powerful as we've just covered off when we spoke about it in the free software for professional video editing and for someone looking for the most advanced piece of video editing software that is free. But now we'll be looking at the other options here as well that weren't available in the free space. We've got pieces of software like Filmora, WeVideo, ScreenFlow, Adobe Premiere Elements, Camtasia, and Lightworks Pro. Now, once again, after testing all of these applications, my top three recommendations would be ScreenFlow, WeVideo, and Adobe Premiere Elements. WeVideo is a fantastic video editing solution. You actually run it through your web browser, so there's no software to download and install, which also means that you don't need to have a decent computer or a really powerful computer to be able to use this. So it runs through the cloud, you upload all your footage, which means that it makes it easy to work collaboratively with anyone else anywhere around the world. You can share projects, you can share files, and it's all seamless because it's all done through the browser. So an amazing option for video editing. Now there's currently two paid plans for WeVideo. There is a $5 per month subscription, which will give you access to 720p video. If you want 1080p or 4K, there's other features as well, but these are the primary ones, then you'd be looking at $8 per month. So definitely not gonna break the bank with that one. ScreenFlow is another really solid video editing option on Mac. It's recently had a price rise from $99 to $129, but I really don't think that's a deal breaker at all because what they've released with the newest version is much better hardware support and hardware integration. Exporting now what used to take 20 minutes, I can now export in less than two minutes. So it's insane the amount of power and performance you have in ScreenFlow now. But not only is it really good at video editing, it's also a really powerful screen recording or screen capturing program as well. So it'll allow you to do full screen recordings while you're recording full screen webcam as well on its own separate video track and multiple audio sources, so an external microphone, as well as audio from your built-in webcam. And you can also do recording of things like your iPhone screen as well, all at once. So an amazing piece of software. And Adobe Premiere Elements, which is the cut down version or the baby brother of Adobe Premiere Pro is again, another really solid solution for video editing. The interface is really intuitive. If you're an absolute beginner and have never edited before, you'll have no issues jumping in and starting to edit. But what's really cool about this is it's got the logical upgrade path to the big brother, Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you learn Adobe Premiere Elements, it's really easy to step up to Premiere Pro if you need to, or if you want the more advanced features that are in the professional application. But really, for, as an end-to-end -end solution, Adobe Premiere Elements will still do what most people will want out of a video editing application. So I've had to pick a winner in this category. It's gonna be pretty difficult because the three are actually totally separate or totally different offerings. So you've got Wii Video, which is cloud-based and awesome at that. You've got ScreenFlow, which is more than just editing, it's screen recording as well. And you've got Adobe Premiere Elements, which is an amazing piece of software with the logical progression up to Adobe Premiere Pro. But my recommendation this year in this sub $200 category right now is gonna to be to ScreenFlow. That new update was an absolute game changer. So at $129, it's definitely worth checking out for a solid video editing application on Mac in that price range. The fact that it does screen recording really, really well, as well as being a video editor, makes it my pick. Now remember, if you can get the trial versions and try a couple of these different applications to see which one is going to be the best for you and the type of videos you're creating. So now onto the final category, the $200 plus category. So this is where you'll typically see all your high-end or professional video editing software, whether they're subscription-based or whether they're an outright fee. These will all cost you $200 or more for the year. So in this pricing bracket, we've got software like Adobe Premiere Pro, HitFilm Pro, 
Final Cut Pro 10, DaVinci Resolve Studio, and Avid Media Composer. So really the biggest difference with the video editing applications that you'll find in this category versus the other two is that this is normally the professional grade software. So here you'll have the most advanced, most detailed in depth, controls and effects and color correction tools across the board. So these are the pieces of software that are used in the film and television industry for creating everything up to feature film. So these are, these are the big players. So once again, after testing all of these, narrowing this down to three, my top three in this category would be Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve Studio. Now each one of these, as with almost every other piece of video editing software that we've mentioned in this video, definitely have some strengths and weaknesses. Now Final Cut Pro was one that a few years back I totally dismissed and didn't want anything to do with. I thought it was just a toy, a bit of a gimmick. I thought it was iMovie Pro, but now it's something that I use all the time and it is really, really powerful. It's amazing how fast and seamless you can edit high res video footage, like 4K video files, multiple 4K video files, 6K video files, even on lower spec systems. So Final Cut is an amazing video editing application. It's actually what we're currently using to edit our YouTube videos. Adobe Premiere Pro is another really solid option. It's what we use for all our corporate work. So the built-in color grading is amazing. The amount of tools you have, the, the ability to easily share and work with a team remotely is really the biggest feature as far as I'm concerned, but also the fact that it's got really good integration with the rest of the Adobe suite. So things like Photoshop and After Effects and Speed Grade and Audition. If you're purchasing this as the complete set and you're getting access to all of those tools, then that's really where you'll get the most out of Adobe Premiere Pro. And DaVinci Resolve Studio, as we said with DaVinci Resolve, the free version is just an amazing piece of software. I can't believe what they're giving away in the free version, but the the pro version or the paid version, DaVinci Resolve Studio, you can pick up for $299. So again, definitely not gonna break the bank. And what you get there is more advanced settings for color correction, more advanced GPU rendering. So your GPU rendering is going to increase the speed and performance of editing and of exporting and of the effects. So you're gonna get more power and more performance. There's a heap of other stuff in there as well, but it's definitely worth considering if you're looking at the pro end of the video editing software. So I've had to pick a winner or pick a recommendation out of those three right now. My recommendation would be for Final Cut Pro 10. Now I think that may change in the next video because DaVinci Resolve is doing some amazing stuff and the power and the performance in that is really, really awesome. But right now, it's what we use, it's Final Cut Pro 10. We're using it for all our YouTube videos. We are starting to use it for some of the corporate projects as well, but really the fact of how fast you can edit and how seamless you can edit 4K video files and 6K video files, even on lower spec computers, the fact that it's a one-off $299 fee and not an ongoing subscription, it just makes it the perfect solution right now. Okay, so I know that that's a lot to take in, but before we wrap up with my top three tips for editing faster, let's do a really quick recap. So for free video editing software on Mac, I narrowed it down to two. It was iMovie for an absolute beginner up to intermediate or DaVinci Resolve with my recommendation going to DaVinci Resolve. For the sub $200 video editing category, I narrowed it down to three, and they were Wii Video, ScreenFlow, and Adobe Premiere Elements, with my recommendation going to ScreenFlow. It is a really powerful solution. And the final category of $200 plus, I narrowed it down to three, DaVinci Resolve Studio, Adobe Premiere Pro, and Final Cut Pro 10, with my recommendation going to Final Cut Pro 10. So now for my three tips to help you edit your videos faster. Tip number one is to remember that your video editing actually starts while you're filming. So while you're filming, make sure that you're not creating a heap of extra footage that you know that you're not going to use. The more footage you have, the longer the editing process will be. But also, if you're doing videos like this where you're talking to camera, then ensuring that the last take that you do is the best one will also help you speed up your video editing. So whether it's your last dot point, last sentence, last paragraph, make sure that the last one is the best one. And that way you don't have to go searching through all the previous takes to find the best one, only move on when the last take is the best one. 
And that leads us to tip number two. So if you've done what we've just mentioned in tip number one and only moved on to the next section or the next paragraph once you're happy with the last take, so the last take is the best take, then all you need to do in your editing is to edit backwards. And that way you're gonna hit that best take first. So instead of editing from left to right, which is the standard way to do it, edit from right to left. And you'll always hit the best take, the one that you know that you wanna use first. So it's gonna make it so much quicker to cut down a huge amount of footage to just the bits, just the best bits, really, really fast. And tip number three is to focus on cutting down all your video content first. So what a lot of people will do is jump straight in and start applying color correction effects or any sort of effects or transitions to try and make their videos look good before they actually start editing the content down. So all this does, not only waste a heap of time because you're probably gonna tweak and change those later, but it also slows down the rest of the process because you're now putting your editing system under load because everything you do is then gonna have to process and render those effects or those transitions for everything that you're doing. So focus on cutting down the content first and then worry about dressing it up and making it look good afterwards. Now these were just three tips from our full video editing process guide, the Primal Video Method. Check out the links on screen now to the Primal Video Method video taking you through the entire process and check out the direct link to download the guide as a PDF. I'll see you soon.